Hey, what's up, guys? Tyler here again with Secure Team. Uh, we have another bombshell discovery in Antarctica. And I don't know, this may be, well, in my opinion, is probably one of the more, if not the most, obvious, unnatural, anomalous structure that we have found at our South Pole. Uh, this comes after our earlier discoveries of pyramids. Oh, and by the way, you've likely seen all my videos featuring the famous pyramid that was recently discovered sticking up out of the snow. Uh, it's been all over the web. Four-sided pyramid. It's been visited, in fact. We have pictures of it. You can go on Google and look this up for yourselves. A, a, a secret history, without a doubt, exists down in Antarctica. And we have also found, and are going to show you today, a second pyramid that has also been discovered right around the corner from this one. And that, to my knowledge, has not been featured by those who have done news stories on this one because, I mean, it's in such a close proximity. But first, let's go ahead and zoom in on this new finding of what I can only describe as a clear-cut shot of a saucer of some sort, sitting within a mountain and partially sticking out from one of the many cave systems there. So we're zooming in now. And here we are. And, um, you know, a viewer tweeted this over to me and he said, you know what, with all of the stuff that's been featured and found down at the South Pole, why is it that this disc, what is quite obviously a disc, not been featured before? And... I thought to myself, wow, I have never actually seen this. So whoever found this, good on you. Um, you definitely have an eagle eye for these things. And I mean, guys, look at this. It's obvious. I don't have to mess with this, uh, you know. I, this is a disc. I mean, look, it even has the shadow underneath it. And what would appear to be some sort of design on the top of it. You see this sort of V-shaped design on the top of it, and look at the outer rim. Look how sharp that looks. This thing looks like a, um, like a blade, like a saw blade, where you have the sharpened edge wrapping around it that's always just a little bit lighter than the rest of the metal, and that looks like what we're seeing here, a very sharp, circular disc sitting out from under this cave here. And if you'll notice just to the side, just to the left of this disc, you can see a portion of the cave system where the white snow is going within this cave. And you can actually see the light being reflected from this snow on the inside walls of the cave from which this disc is sitting. Give me a logical explanation that would lead me to believe that this object here is natural. And I remind you of the saucer-shaped entrances that we showed you in a previous video also found just down the road a piece. From this disc here, uh, these entrances, as we'll call them, in the side of these mountains, one of which looks almost to be laser cut into the mountain, into the ice, and is in a saucer shape. Just a couple of days ago, we found yet another strange circular disc sitting underneath the waters of, once again, our mysterious South Pole. You're seeing that disc here, which actually looks very similar to what we're seeing here. But, um... Yeah, I wanted to get this posted up ASAP. This is, um, in my mind, again, mind-blowing stuff here. How much more will we find down in Antarctica? And it all goes back to all of this interest in the South Pole. Forget about all the Nazi stuff. Yes, we know that the Nazis went on at least three documented expeditions to Antarctica for unknown reasons. Yes, we know and have found evidence that they created bases there and were testing flying saucer-shaped craft using what many have said is back-engineered alien technology. Let's forget all of that. Let's forget that Admiral Byrd went down to the South Pole with a Navy fleet of 4,000 men and encountered flying saucers that were bursting out of the Arctic waters. And let's really forget when Mr. Byrd said that one of the greatest threats on this Earth does not come from other countries, but from a force located at the bottom of our planet. So let's forget all of it. And let's just talk about the number of world leaders who have been making these mysterious visits to Antarctica over the past years, especially last year. Whether it be the president, whether it be the pope, whether it be Vladimir Putin, whether it be Secretary of State John Kerry, whether it be Apollo astronaut and moonwalker Buzz Aldrin, and you get a lot of different strange reasons for these visits, some of which are done under the simple guise of a vacation. 
Although I don't know anyone in their right mind who would want to go to Antarctica for vacation. Others are done under the guise of global warming. That's a big one. Global warming. Anybody can yell global warming as an excuse that doesn't make it so. Uh, Bill Clinton became the first U.S. president to visit Antarctica's deep freeze base back in September of 1990. Many years later, we've had all of the people that I previously mentioned. In 2013, we had Prince Harry of Wales, who along with his royal family, paid a visit to the South Pole. And what was strange about that trip was the description of why they went. When asked, uh, they said that the trip was made to, quote, to highlight the extraordinary courage and determination of the men and women who have been wounded while serving their countries and to draw attention to the need to help in their career transition. Uh, a very strange statement to which many people replied, well, why would it be necessary to travel to the South Pole to achieve such a thing? You could have easily highlighted the extraordinary courage of the men and women of the military in your home countries. Why the need to visit the South Pole? So many random yet notable politicians and government figures have been making their way down to this no man's land. Much of it has been said to be due to the discovery of this mysterious pyramid. And it's been said that there is an ongoing cover-up. That there has been a firestorm in the halls of government around the world. Uh, people who are trying to keep this pyramid under wraps and to hide the true reason for its existence. Now, as I said earlier, I discovered a second pyramid just around the bend from this one. And I'll go ahead and show you that here. So here we are back on Google Earth. And now we will go just down a ways to an almost identical, partially uncovered pyramid that again is in very close proximity to this one. So here we are. We'll go ahead and zoom in here. And again, here we have yet another four-sided pyramid. Um, the back side of the pyramid is more buried than the front side. But you can clearly see the four sides of this thing. They all meet. And uh, it's virtually identical to the main and larger pyramid that is located just 3.4 miles away. We have two new discoveries today. We have this new, smaller pyramid, and we have this disc, yet again, parked within a cave. And, um, yeah, you couple that with the other mysterious discs that we have found all over the South Pole that we will continue to find, it would seem. You put that together with everything I've spoken about today, you make your decision, and honestly, tell me, does nothing seem strange about this? And do you truly buy into the government's cover story behind all of these high-profile visits recently? Let me know what you guys think, alright? So, I will put the coordinates to these down in the video description. Check them out for yourselves. And as always, be sure to like, share, and subscribe on your way out. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys back here in just a bit.